So we're talking about architectural drawings. I guess that makes sense, considering it's the gateway drug to architecture. If you have any sort of aptitude in your teens, people say, "Well, maybe you should study architecture." So, architectural drawings date back to ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. I think the first depiction of a drawing dates back to around two thousand two hundred BC, on the statue of Gudea, and specifically, we're talking about the plan on his knees. The truth is that drawings before the Renaissance were rare, and when you think back to the earliest drawings. Chances are you'll think of details of mouldings and ornaments in antiquity. If you've got any sense, you might even think of the pyramids or Nubian Kerman tombs, but that's not assured. The Middle Ages brought on technical drawings of rib vaults, gargoyles, and flying buttresses, which makes you think of Notre Dame. That's an example. It's pretty current in our minds. In the modern era, we move onto Art Deco or Art Nouveau, where drawing really became an art. Of course, now we've regressed back to napkin sketches by people that don't design and renders resolutely on our way to an era oppressively characterized by VR walkthroughs, all of which require the least amount of imagination. And maybe that's really the point when architecture becomes a commodity. I guess you can't really talk about the importance of drawing without touching on the fact that so little architecture in history has been defined by them. Yes. You've got to do drawings to get statutory approvals and that kind of thing, but the details—I mean, the minutia, like how the wall meets the floor—is often the result of a conversation on site. Drawings aren't the universal language we tell them to be. Yeah, and we mean like how important are they really? If you have to get a certain type of education in order to understand them. Maybe the truth is, us architects, we want them to be important because they legitimise us. We keep up appearances because drawings mean fee proposals. I think to say that they're not important is stupid, but to say that they are all important is also decidedly idiotic. The truth is somewhere in between. Maybe the point is that drawings, in this case, as a tool for communicating design intent, transcends the visual, because architecture has always existed before drawing in its visual form. And will most definitely outlive it in its paper form. Like so much of architecture, those creating the work aren't representative of society at large. So we could even say that architectural drawings are not representative of the world. How can we redress the balance? I don't know.